Happy Sunday. Today's video, a review of the NOCO Genius One battery charger plus maintainer. $30. The main reason I got it is because my Z06 sits a lot and I already had to jump start it three times because it sat so long. I know that's not good for the battery. You'll reduce battery life when you do that. So I got this. The, the biggest reason I chose this one is because it's supposed to restore batteries and I have this battery right here hopefully my Z06 battery is still good and this delays me getting another one but this is a solar battery that I used since 313 2013 this was in my last van build for six or seven years and when it's fully charged it only runs 20 to 40 watts for about 45 minutes so the capacity isn't there anymore but I, I never threw it away I got so much use out of it I just can't throw it away it's just a battery why can't I get rid of it but maybe this battery restore will, res will uh, restore some of the lost capacity we'll see I'll let you guys know like I said I got this to maintain the battery in my Z06 and hopefully those three jump starts I did that battery will still be good for a while but like I said this battery was only doing about 45 minutes to for uh, 20 to 40 watts so this is fully charged right now green light and it's reading 12.5 so let's go ahead and try this out see what it could do now being being fully charged by the NOCO see if it was uh, restored a little bit you probably can't see this but according to this uh, battery reader 12.6 is where you want to be this is 12.54 so close enough I'm gonna use this Centec inverter to see how much uh, capacity I have in this this thing no longer works this is my second one I'm not buying that anymore Next time I get a big inverter, I'm getting one good for like 1500 watts so I could so I could run a microwave. So I'm done with this. I just like this because it reads how much uh, volts you have left, but I have this now. And if I want to see my wattage, I have this power station right here. So this is um running 11 watts right now and it says I could go 21 hours off 89% at 11 watts and I'm running this right now my repro NES and TV exact same test as I did last time so according to this my TV was 40 watts according to my power station it's 12 so we'll just go with this I trust this more than this thing since this thing always broke down second one that I had in the last eight years all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug the TV into the inverter now. TV and Repro NES running right now. Slight voltage drop when I turned it on, dropped down to 12.2. There it is off the inverter. The time, one minute later, 348. So I don't play much video games these days but times like this is when I play video games so let's see how long this runs 45 minutes is the time to beat inverter is beeping at me so it's time to turn it off let me turn everything off right now the time is 641 I got almost three hours out of this battery from 2013 before I used the NOCO, it was only good for 45 minutes running a TV and my Retron HD, almost three hours out of it. So the NOCO definitely restored it a little bit, not to original spec. This battery for five years was a beast. One of the best purchases I ever made for my van. That's why I, didn't, I, couldn't, I couldn't get rid of it because it I had it so long so I didn't buy this NOCO with the intentions of fully restoring this battery I bought it with the intention of keeping my Z06 battery maintained but 
I went with this versus a cheaper maintainer just because it was advertised as it could uh, restore a old battery. That wasn't super important to me, but I wanted to try it out. And there's a proof right there. Got three hours out of this battery instead of 45 minutes. So I might get another solar panel and just use this as a catalyst battery. And at night, when I'm no longer getting solar charge, I still got like three hours of life, you know, with a small draw. But with a 100 watt solar panel, I'll be able to run a decent amount of accessories all day long, as long as I'm getting sunlight, using this as a catalyst battery. So I'll share my old review of this battery when it was at the end of its life to show you guys all I got was 45 minutes out of it so it's pretty cool that this NOCO did restore it a little bit so hopefully since I restored or since I will use this as a maintainer for my Z06 hopefully since I discharged it three times and I needed three jump starts Hopefully I get a little more life out of the battery I have now with this thing. So I like it. So my recommendation, it's a cool maintainer. Don't buy it with the intention that you'll restore your battery to factory spec, but you never know. Buy this with the intention of, you know what, if it restores my battery, cool. If not, I got to get another battery and at least this will maintain it if you have a car that you don't drive often. because the battery is fully charged. So let's see how much I could run my NES here and my TV on this six year old Optima Blue Top. It's gonna be about 30 minutes to an hour. It doesn't hold much charge anymore. So let's... Okay, it's showing 12.4 volts. This thing will wanna shut off when it goes under 11. So let's see how long this lasts. Right there, running 40 watts right now, and the time is 11.18. So it's gonna be about a half hour to an hour before it dips under 11, 11 volts. Just died on me, red light. Started this at 11.17, it's 12.01 right now. So that's about 40 minutes, almost 45 minutes. Not quite 11.3 volts. If I turn my TV on again, it'll it'll dip under 11. Let's see, 11.1. So there you go. You can hear it beeping now. So let's turn this off.